this lady, the sister, where is your husband to you? Yes. Hmm? Huh? He's here. Come here together. I want to pray for you. You hear me? Where are your children? They're at home. We left them in Pretoria. Are they all from here? Yes. Your people, I want you to be faithful with each other. Amen. Satan has been fighting your marriage. It's true. You hear me? Sometimes you want to give up. It's true. You trust him. No? You trust your husband. You have been doubting him, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So now I want to pray for both of you. Because Satan, the, the way is fighting. You need to be careful. Otherwise, there will be children outside. You are hearing me, sir? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Yes. You know, Satan doesn't want you people to have peace. So that he doesn't want your marriage to work. But with the grace of God, you know, trust God that will make it. Amen. When you see challenges in your house, just know uh, it means you are meant to be together. You are hearing me? Amen. So now I'll pray for you. I want you to trust him again. Are you going to do that? I'll try. I want, don't try. You see, I'm speaking, but I'm speaking very small. I don't want to expose everything. Otherwise, this can break you people. I'm trying to, to manage your hearts. Because prophecy must manage your heart, isn't it? It's only when you understand God and when you are matured enough, you understand that prophecy is not for entertaining the audience. Because in some churches, there's audience. It's for building someone. You know, we need to build you. You understand that the love of Jesus is for everyone. I'll pray for you. I want you to trust this man again. Mistake is a mistake. You hear me? Yes. You people love each other. This man, I'll pray for you because of business also. I'll pray for you. Okay. So, but right now, let's bring union again. Because what is happening now, it doesn't look good. You know, you, the way you're crying, no, no. let's bring God to, to your marriage. You hear me? Yes. God loves you. God loves you. that is sick. Where is the child? Where is this child that is very sick? It's my daughter. My wife took her to the doctor today. They took her to the doctor today? Yes. So I'm saying, where is this child that is very sick? It's very, very sick. Oh, you are afraid now. I brought her here. Mama prayed for her last Saturday. You brought what? I brought her here last Saturday. Mama, her Mama last Saturday? Prayed. Yeah, Mama prayed for her. Mm, this child your child, your mm. daughter is very sick. Very sick indeed. And now you are afraid now. Yes. So I want to pray for you. Imagine uh, you are here and the child has been taken to hospital. So this shows that Jesus knows all of you. Eh? I want to pray for you. God must heal your child. Eh? Thank you. You hear me? Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands to this man. What I'm seeing is not good. Let's pray for this man. Pray for him and the child. Even if you're old. Uh, let's pray for, for the child. Oh, Jesus. Let's pray for them. We're here. The child has been taken to hospital. Yes, we are here in the church child is in, taken to hospital. With your prayer, the child will be free. 
I'm saying a child because of him is old and even if you're old, your child is still your child. Let's pray for his daughter. Just one minute of prayer. One minute of prayer. strange. It's after you see yourself there and you, you it's like you wake up. Mm. Huh? Wapapa. You say what? Wapapa. Kya papa? Yeah. What kya papa? Uncha di pirija re na ker. Uncha di pirija na. Yeah. Who are you? Bona. Uskatlor pape na we. Who are you? Uskatlor pape na. Hey bona. Warzi ba we na. Professor. <laughs> 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 So, o, o professor when? Professor. Eh? Huh? Re bolaile ba bantsi. Re ka se palle ke mara. Ma felo re tlofetsa re moishitse ka mo. Wa latsela bana babo. Ra fetsa ka lapa labo. Ra nyakela papa bona mosadi wa ratsa ke rena. Listen, listen. You are the one who takes her in the night. Eh. That's what I was saying. Before they can bring her back now, she's dreaming herself in the toilet. And that's how she'll be able to wake up. You know, if she doesn't go to the toilet, she won't wake up. Huh? You want to kill her? Huh? Who is this? That's a touch. God wants to give you a house. You are tired. I'm tired. I want to move here. Yeah. Yes, you want to move out. Yes, yeah. you are tired. I'm tired, yeah. Because of what is happening in that house. Yeah, they're doing their own things there. Yes. Even last couple of weeks back mm. the stuff there. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, because I'm seeing this why you're praying and I'm seeing chaps. Yeah, in the same house. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Why I see you pray here in this room. In this other room there's people that are performing things here. There's chaps here. God wants to give you your, your own place to rest. Amen. You hear me? Amen. In Jesus' name. Jesus, my tenant. You know, imagine you are sleeping in this room, you hear purple uh, smelly. Purple. They call it in purple. What is it called? In purple. Oh! Huh? Yeah? What do you mean in gay? Gay, gay, long, Wait. Huh? You don't want him to find a place to stay. Ah, but you are you are shishing things in the house. In Ghana, Sam Song Elis. In Ghana, Zako. In Ghana, Sami. Oh, I see. I see. 
So ingani is our college. Gobella, Wale, and Ugo Gobella, yeah. You look over. The 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 Sangoma. The How do you know? How old are you? you must be careful. Eh? Otherwise, you will be Govela. So you are you are the Govela. Yeah. Hmm. You know, when I was standing there, in fact, I wanted to start by this man. When I was standing there, you know, I went to his house. When I reached there, I'm here, but I went to his house. When I reached there, I said, ah, why am I seeing people performing things in the house? And this man who prays like this, can you see you people, you'll be forced to stay under some certain roofs because you don't have money. Eh? And people will be doing what they like. Eh? I pray today God must release you in the name of Jesus. You, you must be independent in the name of Jesus. I say you must be independent in the name of Jesus. Sometimes we are forced because of the situation you are sitting there. People are doing whatever they like. Like this man can pray. Oh. Now I know people who can pray. And now there's Govella that comes there. Just because the house does not belong to him, he's a child there. He won't say anything. Govella must come there and do what they like. Jesus. Come on. Oh. Oh. So you are saying you are the Govella of the house? Yeah. So what are you doing to them? Tell me. The whole family, I caged them. But this one. Mm. This one was uh, chosen to deliver them all. Mm. So we're fighting him. You are fighting him? Yeah. So all the us. one who sent him a spiritual wife? Yes. Huh? Huh? Yes. He keeps praying again. Come on! Leave that stomach, you demon! Out! <gasps> name of Jesus. Bring you here. Allow us to touch you and we close. <laughs> Offering you is for your mom. Yeah. Amen. This is for your mom. The sugar diabetes will go. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know, because now you are you are starting to doubt God now. Yes, it's true. You hear me? It's Don't true. doubt God. That's a big mistake. Mm. It's a huge mistake. Sometimes when challenges come, it's because you people you have to pray more. Amen. You hear me? Amen. You're free. 